yo what's going on guys welcome back to another video as you see by the title today we're going to be talking about how shot lists can improve your music videos short films documentaries whatever the case may be for whatever work you're doing now before i actually show you guys um the shot list that i made for my last music video the sir d eon's music video i want to share with you what a shot list is why you would use one the benefits of a shot list and when to use a shot list so let's get right into it shot list is pretty much a list of shots that you plan on getting for an upcoming music video short film documentary whatever you're doing so yeah it's pretty much just a list of shots that you plan on going through that you molded from whatever treatment that you put together um to kind of make everything a lot smoother while you're out on set why would you use a shot list like i just said it makes everything 10 times smoother when you're out on set because you know exactly what you want to do and you know Kind of how the entire shoot should go people aren't looking at you like what's going on why are we sitting here sitting around you know exactly what's supposed to be going on and it just makes life 10 times easier when you're out on set and when you bring it back to editing you already know exactly how everything should be for the edit if you are doing like a super detailed shot list like i did and we'll get into that in the later parts of this video the main thing that i benefit from uh using a shot list is i do my shot list very detailed and i kind of know exactly where i want to put things in the edit or potentially put that whatever shot into the edit so it helps me uh have a guideline too when i'm out on set so i know exactly what i got and what i need to get for the particular shoot you can really use a shot list for pretty much any piece of work whether that be a music video like i do uh, short films documentaries and even for photography but yeah we're going to go ahead and get right into the shot list that i made for the sir dean eons music video i'm not going to go through every single thing that i put on this shot list because it is very detailed and very extensive and i have a behind the scenes video coming up so yeah i'm just going to go through a little bit of this and show y'all how i create mine so let's get right into it all right man so here we are in program i use evernote you can really use anything it doesn't really matter um you can use microsoft word you can use excel i just like using evernote it's just something that i've been using for a while now and it's just it's it's easy for me to use so um here we are we got sir dean eon's shot list so the structure of this is pretty simple man i got the title i got another title of the day one location and then the name of the location um setup time shots and then i got some reference photos and then i got my lighting and my equipment and then the last thing is props so that's pretty much the structure of my shot list so i'm gonna go through like a couple of these scenes so here we are with the first day one location one not in parking lot sunrise so setup time for this was at 0, 0600 0, 0700 was start time so that gave me an hour to kind of set everything up the projected end time was around 0, 8 30 and i left a little note talking about the weather that it may be a little chilly i did go out prior to making this shot list and did my uh, location scouting to see how the weather was and how the sun was and everything like that so i put little notes in there to kind of help out with like dressing because i knew it was going to be kind of cold that day so you don't have to get super detailed with this but like i said for me when i make my shot list i kind of want to piece it together to a point where i know exactly where i want to put it within the edit or potentially put it within the edit 0, 0700 to 0, 0710 that's the actual time of day that i plan to shoot this so i should be shooting this first part on the road and them for about 10 minutes so this is going to be a solo standing in front of the car this was sir dean by himself wide medium close wide and medium close both at 35 mil on a ronin m so i was using a 24 to 70 with this shoot and when i say wide medium i'm not going to be zooming in on the lens because if i do that i'm going to mess up my balance on the ronin all i did was kind of just get closer and further away for the wide and medium shots the performance was from the beginning of the song to 058 and that's a really big thing for me because prior to like making shot lists I would have the artist perform the entire song like multiple times for every scene. And that takes up time and it takes up space on my SD cards and space on my hard drive. So if you can kind of get it to a point where you know exactly what you want to perform for particular scenes, it makes your life easier and it saves time 
say it's an artist song and you can get through a lot of things a lot faster so i highly recommend you guys try to at least kind of break it down to a point where you know what parts to perform for a particular scene so you don't you're not out there wasting time and just shooting excessive stuff this was supposed to be my intro shot but if y'all watch the video which is out now i realized shooting with heavier cameras from the own and them i suck because i think i don't balance it correctly and it really showed when going through and editing this project because this first shot right these first two shots right here trash it was like super rocky even using warp stabilizer just it was just all over the place man so um yeah i mean at least i knew what i wanted to do but when i went through and looked at everything i was like damn that kind of sucked. So I didn't really use this part. I had another note in here. I wanted to catch the sun peak because like I said, I went out prior to the shoot and did my location scouting and I noticed the sun was going to be peaking at certain times of the morning. So that was one thing I wanted to capture as I was doing this part of the shoot. 15 minute gear swap. I don't think this is like how much time I needed, but I gave myself enough time just in case it did take that long to switch from the Ronin M to my handheld rig. Give yourself more time if you are creating a shot list because anything on second happen you don't know and it's out of your control. So give yourself more time than you think you would need. And 15 minutes was more than enough time. I think it only took like probably five minutes to switch everything out. So this next one is from 0725 to 0735. And like I said, that is the actual time of day that I plan to be shooting this particular shot. This is all gonna be handheld natural sway below eye level ins and outs with manual focus now since i am doing handheld i'm able to like actually zoom in on the lens because it's not going to mess up any kind of stabilization frankie was supposed to be there like laying her head on his shoulder but like i said she wasn't there and y'all see the reference right here this is kind of like how i wanted to envision the frame for this shot it could have been a little different um out on the actual scene but it's a reference to kind of guide me in a way that i want to kind of look for this shot um then from there 815 to 0830 quick little drone shot um just a simple into out mid speed pan slightly angle down i use this this for b-roll very simple shot with the drone nothing too crazy and i didn't want to go out too far because if i did you could see my car and me find the drone so um yeah i didn't go out too far that's why i wanted to go pretty slow to make it seem like it was like on a crane so yeah that's what this shot for the drone was used for uh yeah so we got the shots and then you got lighting so this is all natural lighting from the sunrise from the mountains it was kind of backlit which looked really good i was using black pro mist which is down in the equipment to like make it seem very soft and kind of give it a filmic look i did use my drone the mavic air 2 with some of my nds the r6 24 to 70 ronin m these were rinse it out from lensrentals.com if you guys are interested in trying to rent anything out i highly recommend trying to rent over purchasing new gear so the r6 was rented 24 to 70 was rented the 4x565 nd filter was rented as well and then we had the ronin m map box the tilt and map box filtration like i said 4x565 neutral density filter the threaded nd i didn't use that but i had it on here just in case black pro mist 14 stayed on my lens this entire shoot so i wanted to make everything look soft split diopter tripod and then my shoulder rig so this is my equipment list for this particular scene and i have a, another like full equipment list at the bottom that we'll get into later um but this is just the equipment that i know i was going to be needing and using for this particular scene and the props for this was just a uh, t versus jeep there was another guy who was supposed to come for like to use his convertible but he wasn't going to be able to make it so we should use the jeep that is like pretty much all this down here man it's the same same breakdown same setup yeah man like i said having a shot list just makes your life 10 times easier when you're out on set you know exactly where things are supposed to be how it's supposed to be why it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be all the above man it just makes life a lot easier and makes the shoot go through a lot smoother faster and it just it just makes things a lot better man before i close this i'm going to show y'all my equipment list now i literally use everything on this equipment list jbl speaker c stand all this stuff man running in running s tripods tripod fluid heads light domes all this stuff man kind of break it down from like lighting and then my like uh stabilization overhead rig i will go through everything on this equipment list and make sure i have every 
single thing that I need because I don't want to ever leave something behind. That's just the worst feeling ever. It's like, damn, I need this. And now I can't get the shot that I'm trying to do because I don't have this piece of equipment that I'm supposed to bring to the shoot. So make sure you list everything out. And then below here, I just have gear to buy. I needed one more extension cord, but I never even needed it. So I didn't buy it. So that's just on here just in case. And then that is the end of my shot list. But yeah, man, that's going to be it for today's video. If y'all are curious to see what kind of mic I'm using, this is the Fafine Technology mic. Very, very good quality mic and at a very good cheap price so if you guys are interested in purchasing a mic like this it's going to be linked down in the description behind the scenes video coming soon for the certain eons shoot um something just something else i wanted to say but i think that's it if i forgot it <laughs> oh well if you guys enjoyed this video man or find it to be informational to you hit that like button if you're new here consider subscribing and i will see you guys with them in my next video oh my guys peace